If you're playing fresh or want to get the best mount in Wrath of the Lich King, you can't afford to miss Brewfest. This event brings sweet achievements like Disturbing the Peace, as well as the Brewmaster title, which you'll need if you want a chance at getting the Violet Proto Drake mount. Look at it. It's so beautiful. But that's not all. The Brewfest event is incredibly useful for fresh players, since you'll be able to get Biz gear for fast leveling. Plus, you can get a 2-hour 10% mob killing XP bonus twice a day. I'll discuss the fresh experience with Brewfest later in the video, so if you're going fresh, keep watching. But right now, let's talk about how to take full advantage of one of the best seasonal events in Wrath of the Lich King. You will all serve me. So what's this Brewfest event everybody's talking about? Brewfest is a yearly holiday event that will run from September 20th through October 6th. You'll need to complete fun quests in order to get the Brewfest prize tokens. These prize tokens allow you to purchase special Brewfest gear and access to the Brew of the Month Club. Speaking of the Brew of the Month Club, you'll need to do six specific Brewfest achievements to get the Brewmaster title. The Brewmaster title is required for what a long, strange trip it's been which unlocks my personal favorite mount, the Violet Proto Drake. And just like in previous years, you'll also be able to head to the Grim Guzzler in Blackrock Depths to take on Corin Direbrew. That means you can get some last minute best in slot trinkets for your alt characters. And Corin still drops his Swift Brewfest Ram and Great Brewfest Kodo. These are two of the most eye-catching mounts in Classic WoW. Plus, don't forget your 10% mob killing XP bonus. It drops at both 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific time at the Brewfest camp every day. This is just such a perfect event for fresh characters to catch up faster. So I get it. Brewfest is pretty awesome. But what should I be doing first? First, head to the gym. We're going to be cheating on our diets for the next few weeks. Okay, so now it's time to head outside to Iron Forge if you're Alliance or Orgrimmar if you're Horde. Whether it's mounts or achievements you're after, you'll need a lot of Brewfest prize tokens. Our first token priority will be to join the Brew of the Month Club. This will help us to progress towards several future achievements like Brewmaster. And we'll need to purchase three pieces of Brewfest clothing for the Disturbing the Peace achievement. Plus, the Wolpertinger Tankard pet is a must-have for Brewmaster. And while you're shopping, don't forget to hit up all the vendors to buy the ales and foods for the Strange Brew and Brewfest Diet achievements. Before we talk about earning Brewfest tokens fast, hit the like button, click the notification bell, and subscribe to keep the ale flowing. Let's start our Brewfest token journey. First up, complete the Welcome to Brewfest quest from Ipfa Coffer Iron Keg and Dunmoreau or Tapper Swindle Keg and Duratar. From here, we have several quest options for free prize tokens. Chug and Chuck gives 10 Brewfest tokens starting from Boxy Bolt Spinner or Bizzle Quick Lift. You'll just need to throw your complimentary Brewfest samplers at the knockoff Westfall robot. And don't forget about the introductory Ram training quest. Now this is Ram Racing almost. All you need to do is maintain the three speeds of Trot, Canter, and Gallop for eight seconds each. But if you reach 100% fatigue, your ram disappears. Where does he go exactly? Oh no. Once that ordeal is over with, don't forget to get your free Brewfest Stein from Belby Quick Switch or Blix Fix Widget. My full Brewfest written guide has all the quests laid out in it and exactly what you need to do for every achievement. Check it out in the description below. You don't want to miss out on your Violet Proto Drake. Quick side note, but Pink Elix on Parade was unfortunately bugged last year. I'm thinking if we all get drunk enough, Blizzard might decide to fix it before the event is over. In a pretend world where the event works, we'd all get smashed together and joyously head to the major capital city entrances. There, we'd head straight to the beer gardens where we'd zap Elix to our heart's content. Instead, let's do there and back again, which is our classic keg delivery quest starting from Neil Ramstein or Ram Master Ray. Just make sure to take a good route and run over those apple barrels or your ram might disappear again. Oh no. Another repeatable quest is this one time when I was drunk, which gives 10 easy tokens. Every 30 minutes, there'll be an invasion of dark iron dwarves at the camp. Once the invasion is over, just loot the wreckage on the ground and turn it into Boxy or Bizzle. 
though if you're looking for a more challenging quest, the bark quest should be right up your alley. Just pick one of the two local breweries to bark for and carefully ride your ram through your city's capital. And a hot tip, you can go ahead and disappear your mount again and switch to epic riding once you hit all four checkpoints. This would also be a great time to do that Wolpertinger quest, right? Hey, wait a minute, never mind. Just go ahead and buy the pet from the vendor for the achievement instead. All right, it's time to talk Corrin Direbrew and why he's amazing for fresh characters. Blizzard has decided to keep Corrin as the level 73 version, so he drops the same level 70 trinkets from last year. That means this is the perfect boss for fresh characters, since items like Dire Brew Hops and Empty Mug of Dire Brew will save you several hours of grinding. Plus, the Great Brewfest Kodo and the Swift Brewfest Ram are extremely worth getting. These mounts absolutely stand out in the crowd and will have people inspecting your character for years to come. And the Dire Brew Remote is a must-have BRD teleport, especially if Cataclassic and Blackwing Descent end up coming out. Don't forget that you also get a 40 free Brewfest token turn-in quest for killing Corrin Direbrew the first time. Tweet. Dire Brew is really great, isn't it? Personally, it's my favorite holiday event in Wrath of the Lich King. What's your favorite WoW holiday event? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, you'll love my video on maxing your honor out fast. This is the absolute best time to get your honor maxed out for free PvP gear.